Hi everyone, Erin here from Real Weight Fun. Thanks so much for joining me. So today I'm gonna to take a look at one of the three brand new styles that Raquel Welch just came out with. And this is called Influencer Inspo and it is now available for sale online. And I have this gorgeous piece in shaded sand. So stay tuned. So first I'd like to thank my friends from Wigs by Patty's Pearls for supplying this gorgeous style so I could bring a review for you today. So as I mentioned, Influencer Inspo at the time of filming this is a new style along with two others that have now become available for sale online. The other two are Statement Style and Ahead of the Curve. So stay tuned for those reviews. Okay, let's jump right into it. So Influencer Inspo, as you can see, is a long style with razor cut ends and then it has these beautiful fringe. Now I'm going to talk about that in a second. So you're going to want to stay tuned because as always, you're going to get my hundred percent honest opinion on these bangs. So Influencer Inspo is part of Raquel Welch's signature collection. It's made out of their true to life heat defiant fibers, which means that you could straighten this piece even further. Although I'm not sure you're going to be able to get much straighter than it already is or you could simply add curls or waves to this piece if that was something that you wanted to do. So Influencer Inspo is an average size cap. I have a 22 inch circumference head. My Raquel Welch wigs fit me perfectly right out of the box. Now this does have that beautiful center mon monofilament part. So if you're not a center parter, I don't think that this one is quite up your alley. Many of you already know how much I love the Raquel Welch True to Life Heat Defiant Fibers, and these fibers feel very fine, very soft. What I like about this style, being as straight as it is, is it would be very easy to apply heat to these ends to keep these lengths looking and feeling great. So you can use your heat tools on low heat to kick out any of that friction or any of that frizz that you start to see over time. Okay, so can we just talk about these bangs? So many of you know I'm not a huge bang wearer. However, they're gorgeous. But what you have to know is that they are exceptionally long. There is, and let me show you this. If I was to wear these straight down, or if your plan is to wear these straight down like this, you're going to have to A, either trim them yourself, or what I would recommend is taking them taking this piece to your stylist to have them trim in, you know, a length that's more fitting for your face. But if you like that pushed off to the side look, then perhaps you won't need to touch this at all. But I do want you to know that these bangs are quite long. In fact, these front sections are five and a half inches. So if I was to push these all the way down, that makes sense because my face Perhaps they're a tiny bit shorter than that. My face is seven inches from hairline to chin. Now, I do have this piece sitting a little bit further back than I normally would, um, but I certainly could not wear this with the bangs down straight without getting them trimmed first. Let's talk about the rest of the dimensions. So the crown, the nape, and the back are all 12 and a half inches, and then the sides are 10 and a half. The one thing that I really love about this piece is the density. So although this piece weighs 5.2 ounces, which is a little bit on the higher side, it feels really comfortable on my head and the density is very realistic. And I think you can probably see this. If I was to pull this back into a ponytail, do you see the diameter of the hair? It is not unnaturally thick, which I really like because for a lot of us that are used to either A, no hair, or be very thin hair, having a realistic density really helps us to feel comfortable wearing these wigs when traditionally we're not used to having a lot of hair. All right, why don't I go ahead and do a turn so that you can see Influencer Inspo on all sides. So clearly this is my front. You could absolutely do an ear tuck because of that low density that I just talked about. Okay, so I love that. Here is my right side. And then the back, all of the hair right now is at the back. So you can see how realistic this hair density is, or I believe you probably can. And this is my left-hand side. And then back to the front. All right, I'll go ahead and take the wig off so that we can look at the inside 
of the cap on Influencer Inspo, okay? So there is that center monofilament part that I was talking about earlier. You do not have a lace front, but honestly, you don't need a lace front with these bangs because nobody is seeing the hairline, okay? Now, this piece here is a strip where you could put tape or adhesive if that made you feel more comfortable. I personally don't wear tape or adhesive with my wigs. I use a product called the Hair Grip and wearing this provides supreme comfort for me and I had never worry about the wig coming off. So like I mentioned earlier, if you don't like a center monofilament part, you'll notice that there's very little room and the opening is about the same width as it is all the way back. So unlike some other center monofilament part wigs that have larger openings at the mouth, this one does not. So to me, this is a true center part, okay? And then you have open wefted sides and back. You have the felt covered ear tabs, metal stays in there. What you do with those is you can bend them close to the side of your face to help keep this wig laying as flush and as close to the side of your face, okay? And then here is the nape. It is a regular nape. It is not extended. For those that are new to wearing wigs, an extended nape would be about double the depth of what we're seeing here, okay? And then there are the Velcro adjusters on either side. What that allows you to do is to adjust those adjusters to fit your head circumference. So like I said, I have a 22 inch circumference head. This is how the wig came straight out of the box and it's fitting me beautifully. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that Shaded Sand from Raquel Welch is one of my favorite blondes. So that is the shade that I have Influencer Inspo in. It's a gorgeous blonde. It is a rooted uh, color, but it's rooted with a medium brown root. And you can see the transition between the rooted portion of the color and the base of the color is done just so beautifully and naturally. And then it has shades of light blonde throughout. I think this is a really, really natural, beautiful blonde that really lends onto the neutral side. And you know what, for those of you that love this general style, but you're not a fan of bangs, then I would point you towards Raquel Welch's Well Played because the base and the body of this shade, or sorry, of this style, reminds me a lot of Well Played, which is one of my favorites. This Influencer Inspo is a little bit longer than Well Played. And then of course you have these bangs that Well Played does not have. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed taking a quick look at Raquel Welch's new Influencer Inspo in Shaded Sand. Stay well.